Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, OGA Outdoors. Hey, if you're new, my name's Ben. I'm out here in my front yard today. No, we're not in the middle of a severe drought or the desert. This is my nice Bermuda lawn. I had a visit from an army worms. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I didn't know what it was. I was, I do a lot of, I treat some, my grass really aggressively with fertilizer and use a lot of nitrogen and spray my weeds with some herbicides. And we had a little dry spell of a couple weeks. So I thought it was a combination of maybe a little chemical burn or some fertilizer but so I didn't pay that much attention to it but it just kept getting worse and worse and then I started seeing people talking about army worms you know all around even in different states and things and so I got to looking and sure enough my yard was full of the little worms okay so this is what my yard looks like now this is two days after I started treating for the army worms it doesn't really do it justice two or three days ago it was you can see green patches now it's starting to come back that's how quick the chemical the pesticide worked Okay, we're at a little less than two days after spraying and I cannot find any army worms that are still alive. You can see right here, there's one, two, three, four. There's a couple more, one, two. So you can see I've, after killing the worms, I've already got green growth coming out. It's just a couple days, like I said, it's coming out everywhere. So I was worried the grass was gonna be really damaged, but it's coming out fast, so hopefully the week, week and a half, I could have my lawn back. Guys, this is the product I actually used. It's called, a, I pronounce it Biffin. I guess it could be called Biffin. I'm not for sure, but we're going to go with the Back to the Future reference, and we're going to call it Biffin. Biffin IT. And over here on page, what is it, 26? You can see that. The pest, army worms. 0.18 ounces to 0.25 quarter of an ounce that's per thousand square feet so i took and i calculated how many square feet i was going to treat all right so i wanted to get the highest rate i wanted to go with the point the quarter of an ounce per thousand square feet so i figured i had 24,000 square feet to treat so i took 0.25 times 24 you get six so i need six ounces so I knew if I kept looking long enough, I would find some. And sure enough, I found a few out near my garden. So there's not a big area. And I, I'm going to spray a little bit, like I said, around the house too. I don't need much because this stuff, you're supposed to mix it up and use what you mix up. So I'm going to mix up a half an ounce with a half a gallon of water so I can spray that out. And cause you don't want it to set in the sprayer overnight or for a couple of days because I think it loses its effectiveness. So we're just going to get with the bottle here. You can see it filling in here. We just squeeze the bottle. We got a half an ounce. I'm gonna pour that in my little, just a little Roundup sprayer I bought from Walmart a few years ago. It's been a really good sprayer. It's got three different nozzles. You just got like a little mystery, you know, you can spray like kind of fogs more. And then it's got a yellow tip that, you know, it sprays out a wand and flat spray. And then it's got a red tip that sprays more volume because with it, for these things, you want to soak it pretty good. But I'm trying to move on is spraying a lot of area with a hand sprayer. so. I use the tip that sprays the most volume and gets more coverage that way. So this is what you need to be looking for in your lawn. This is actually out back. This is just in some area with some weeds and they're pretty, they're getting in here actually. I found some. See it's green everywhere. Then you got these brown patches like here and here. You come on back. More brown patches here. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap this one up. This is a little off topic today. Not much about firewood or farming, but well, I guess army worms, they, they can be on your homestead or whatever. But yeah, lesson learned and try to teach you something because I didn't have no clue about army worms. I mean, I've heard of them, but you know, I just thought it was something I did. Chemical burn, fertilizer, and combination of a couple weeks there without any rain, really hot. It just kind of kept creeping in, getting worse and worse. And finally I started hearing about army worms and. I would have saved myself a lot of heartache if I had walked through the yard two weeks ago and just took a close look. I could have saw the worms and realized what it was and had that done and wrapped up. Luckily, I had a quart of that Biffin IT on hand. I keep it because it's pet safe, kid safe, whatever, cause human safe, because you can use it inside your house. It's for termites and all kinds of things. But 
ants, spiders. If I start, usually if I see some ants or something in the house, I'll get it and you can spray around the baseboards and a room and you know keep your pets away and let it, once it's dry, it's safe. But spray the house and do that a couple times a year and it works really well. Yeah, like I said, guys, it's a little bit off topic, but just a little useful information that can hopefully, hopefully will help you out. But like I always, I mean, if you like my videos, go ahead and give me that thumbs up. It helps my channel. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification icon. And we're going to catch you on the next one. And I really appreciate you watching.